citizens of America. The so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to DC today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. Blood it. Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. And that's a clip from Civil War. I'm delighted to say we've been joined by Alex Garland, writer, director, Kirsten Dunst, one of the stars of the movie. Welcome. Thank you. It's lovely to see you. I saw the film last night and I, I feel as though I'm still in shock, really. And it also makes me think I need to go and see it again, probably in IMAX. Would that be the right reaction, Alex, would you think? Well, I mean, it sounds like a nice reaction. That's what it sounds like. I mean, well, it uh, is a nice reaction. <laughs> I, IMAX is a good way to see it. Um, I, to me, uh, IMAX is good not just for the size of the screen, it's the sound system as well. And I think this film the sound system really plays into it. I'd also say just separately, completely separate to this movie, I find it quite interesting that it can be shown in IMAX because of the cameras it was shot on. These were not IMAX cameras. They are sort of, in some ways, consumer-grade, uh, small, self-stabilising handheld cameras. Ex Machina was shot on, like, years ago, not on IMAX cameras. They're just showing that on IMAX. Lots of films could be on IMAX. It it, it sort of dispels some kind of magic, but a good dispellation. It's, it, it's great. I yeah. Think. I, I wasn't going to get to this point until later on in the interview, but oh, blew it. you've got a brand new camera, haven't you, for this? For this project, yes, it, it really was brand new. Yeah, um, it became available uh, really weeks before pre-production. And Rob Hardy and I, the DOP, tested it and thought this is going to do exactly the thing we need. Um, you know, cameras are tools, different tools, different jobs. The, the camera informs in various ways the way something gets shot. So the grammar of the film can come out of its physical body in all sorts of different ways. This was a this was a dream for this movie, this camera. I love it. I'm about to use it again, actually. Kirsten, are you aware of all this? Obviously, you have an important story to tell. Does the does what camera Alex is using make any difference to the way you're performing? Um, you know, when we were in the car all together, the way the cameras were set up, we had eight on a vehicle that Wagner was actually driving. So there was an intimacy and a freedom because we weren't, there was so many ways that we were captured. And so it felt very, we could all be very natural and in the moment and not feel like, okay, now it's your close-up, your close-up. So it, it, it was more immersive. Right. Now you play Lee. I'm aware we haven't told the story of the film. Um, we just talked about cameras, but uh, tell us who Lee is and where we find her at the beginning of, of Civil War. Lee Smith, you find um, all the characters together, Wagner, plays Joel, Kaylee plays Jesse, and then um, Stephen plays Sammy. So you're kind of picking up these characters on the way, and it's um, mm. really a road trip from New York City to Washington, D.C., taking the back roads to film and interview the president, or to photograph and inter interview the president. So you find Lee um, kind of in the midst of her job and what she does. And she is famous for what she does. In, in in your film, she is like a legend. Would that be fair? I mean, what do you think? She, yeah, she's... Uh, probably among, among in, this, in that community. Yeah, so, not like uh, a... Like the real Lee Miller or Don McCullen, who's also name-checked in the film. Well, well, but you could, there's, there's many others. Very, very well-known in their community. Probably less so outside, but there'll, there'll be people who've heard of them. Um, but yeah, so I think Lee, Lee I, Lee's sort of a bit like Lee Miller in some respects. There's some commonality, also a bit like Don McCullen in some respects, and 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 others. Yeah. So, uh, and Alex, from your point of view, the guy who, who who wrote the film, tell us tell us the story. Tell us what we need to know before we go and see Civil War. Oh no, I'd much rather not. I I, I think I I really. So I'm 53. I grew up watching. Films when I could, but often you encountered films on TV, 
late at night and you didn't know anything about the film, you just started, it would be like BBC Two at 11 or w- whatever it was. And you you just discover stuff. And, I, I, and you wouldn't know who made it, what their intentions were, who was in it. And there was a real pleasure attached to knowing as little as possible and just letting something roll out in front of you. I think I discovered some of my favourite films like that 